Welcome in this tutorial, first on many, I hope. Well, today we are here to discuss about one of the tools I developed in order to facilitate daisy modding. Many of you that learn or want to learn about how to create mods in daisy have questions and difficulty while setting up the workbench, while finding the right tools, and the old pictures may sound a bit difficult. And my this video is to show you one of the tools I developed that can make your life easy and allow you to develop mod fast and efficiently. I want to warn everyone that my way is one of many, and I'm not saying it's the right way, I'm just saying this one works for me, and if you want to benefit it, it's possible. As I am a freelancer, I am sorry to announce that this tool won't be free. This will be part of a monthly subscription on my membership coffee which will propose a lot of tutorials about daisy modding and about how to create certain type of mods, how to create certain type of templates that will allow you to be efficient and learn how to do the ideas that you have in your mind. So this video is about showing you the features of this first tool and I hope you will like it and if you really do then I invite you to subscribe to my membership in Coffee and start the process of installing it and playing with it. All right, let's get to it. So first of all, I want to show two different points about this video. First of all is why use the VS Code extension I did and not the workbench. And in the second time, we'll see the showcase of the modding template features I made. So first of all, what are the pros of using that template I made? Well, obviously there's many because that's what I'm trying to, well, you know. <laughs> Uh, Visual Studio Code is used outside DAISY modding, so if you are planning to extend your knowledge and your development experience outside of it in the future, this is a good tool to be familiar with as companies use it a lot and developers use it a lot. It has a lot of extensions which make it uh, easy to find what you're missing and the th different theme allow you to exactly see the code as you want it to be, as I find very difficult to have an ID in white. I always want a dark theme, very special for it. And Visual Studio Code allow me that. The workbench, on the other hand, cannot support changing theme and a lot of things. But the only thing that I see that is bad the, during the, I mean, the cons, is the Visual Studio is not built for daisy modding by default. So this is one of the cons, obviously. And it may miss some features that the workbench provide, obviously, because it was made for it. Which brings me to the Workbench Pros. It's actually made for daisy modding. So if you want to use it, if you think it's best, then you should go. But I think in my side, in my way, that it's not a requirement. And it's so difficult for people that just starting this journey to set it up, etc., that it's not a good worth. It's not worth it. So one of the cons that I find with the workbench outside its user-friendly setup and interface is it's more or less stable. Sometimes your code can crash and that's bad. VS Code is less inclined to do that. And finally, the final point I said, it is hard to set up. So yeah, so I'm gonna show now the features of my actual template, which are you can find also in the workbench, but that can be very useful in VS Code. So with my template, you have scripts that allow you to build directly all your source directories in PBOs on your DAISY server. You can also start and stop your DAISY server directly from VS Code, which is perfectly uh, efficient. You don't have to open three different tools, Steam, have the DAISY server on the other side, etc. You just have to press a button and it start one, you press another, it start the other one with the same mod list and the mod you're actually developing. So see how efficient it is? Well, I mean, when I developed it, I was like, yeah, Dimitri, you, you did good. Anyway, let's move on. How can you add mods easily when you, pr when you develop something? Most of the time, you're going to require a framework, such as Stamps framework or CF. And for that, you have a special script that also allow you to easily search all your mods, workshop mods on your DAISY folder and select the one you want to start with your mod template. 
and you have actually a screen right here of an example where you can filter that list, find the one that find the one that you actually want to add and add it to your server template development environment. And finally, one of the things that is also really cool to have is to show directly the script log and the crash log in your console in VS Code. So you just have to press a button once again and you see the script in your server of your actual session. You can have that for the server side and for the client side. That way, when you're debugging, you're sure to not miss a thing. And it gives you time. You're not wasting time trying to open one folder and going to the right path, finding your local DAISY app and finding the logs. You just press a button and it's all. So now that I presented all the features, and if you're interested with it, I invite you to go to the description link and subscribe to my membership. It will give you access to many videos to come about templates, about how to create a webhook, a Discord, bots, or how to create teleportation system and many things to come. My goals this year is to actually give you every tools you need to develop mods, even from scratch. So if you don't know anything about coding, I am also planning to make tutorials or to teach you how to script with my own knowledge, of course, as I may not be the best one to do, but what I know allows me to do great things. And I want to teach you that. So see you around guys.